Well, hello once again, and it is me here once again with another gameplay video. A lot of things have been are different. For example, my tunnel is upgraded to level three. I've gotten a mortar. I've upgraded my archer tower to level three. Both my cannons to level four. This elixir storage is at level five. This gold storage is at level five. Because my two new storages are both at level two. Um, I've upgraded some walls, not very much, but the main thing is the mortar. That's pretty important. Yeah, I've also changed my base layout so that it's pretty good. I've actually won a lot of my defenses. And the defenses I have lost have mostly been, have mostly forced people to deploy a lot of troops, but not being very cost effective. Like, for example, deploying all these troops just to get 965 elixir is not that worth it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I probably he didn't make a profit with it. And, yeah, this one definitely, well, yeah, I want to this that one. Yeah. So, yeah. And also, we have more than 439 trophies. I'm not sure if, then, I wonder if that'll put us in at least. I mean, I think it will, so let us attack. Our army camps are full. And I've also upgraded both my army camps to level 2. Now we can have a max troop capacity of 60. So I have 15 goblins, 15 archers, and 30 barbarians. So let us attack. Hmm, yeah. So, <laughs> this guy is definitely too much. Um, yeah. I'm looking for just a nice and easy base so that we can do, so that we can just get into a lead, hopefully. And leads, if you don't know, they, leads allow you to get a loot bonus for every successful attack, which is kind of important at the lower level not as important as you get to the higher levels, but yeah. Hmm, you can get basic. Oh, lots of loot. I'm just, I'm just not confident in my ability to destroy these guys. Hmm. I guess since my trophy level is kind of high. Alright, here's a pretty nice spread out base for us to get. 86,000 loot! That is overkill. I mean, that's really overkill. So, we have to take out that mortar. Yeah, that mortar may be able to take it out. It will be pretty easy. But first, let's just focus down these archer towers. These archer towers are pretty high level. So we've taken out both of them. Yep, we have. And now we can just have a field day with these goblins. As you can see, our gold is rapidly rising, <laughs> and so is our elixir kind of. And just like that, we're able to afford a lab and potentially our town hall free. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> now, should we go for the town hall? Oh. Or some guys would go for the mortar. That'd be nice. Maybe these two archers will be able to take the mortar. I'm not quite sure. Not <laughs> one goblin. That's funny. Alright, good. The barbarian will go for the mortar next. Oh, wow. One barbarian did. One barbarian, one archer are pecking away at that mortar. So, I'm. And you guys, no, no guys there, no guys there. So, this was a very successful attack. I mean, extremely successful. I'm glad I got to do this. 
<laughs> I'm glad I got to share this attack with you guys. In 1 minute 30, I'm not quite sure we can get this level 5 to call with a level 1 archer, so... Uh, 44%. I'll only lose 7 trophies, so... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. And you have been promoted. League level bronze 3. Loot bonus 400, elixir, and 400 gold. Not much, but still good. So, we obviously have a ton of stuff that we can do. So, first I'm going to do my lab elixir. We should be place it down there, but we can't. I'll place it. Hmm. Place it just out there for now, and I'll try to do some efficiency. Building. Hmm. Oh, please, come on. There we go. That's that's an okay placement. So yeah. Now let's train some guys. Um. That'll get us now. This is done in 12 minutes and 12 minutes. Um, okay, so what can we do? We still have a little bit of all these So, we have maxed out our guitars. Maxed out our Um, and we have maxed out our mortar. So, since I've basically done all that I basically want to do, um, for this level, I think I should move up in a town hall upgrade. I mean, I really just can't. S um, what just happened? So, oops, sorry there. My camera froze for a bit because I hit the picture button on my camera. There's like. On my webcam, there's a button at the top that allows you to take a picture, so the camera kind of froze for a moment. But, so, as I was saying, should I upgrade my town hall? I think I should. I mean, yeah. Do like... Like, usually, in my other account, I usually just max out my defenses. Usually... And that's what's important to be, and then I start going for my town hall. And I just, and I do want to upgrade barracks, like, but I, those aren't important, as important as other stuff. So as you can see, we can still go a storage level higher on these two. Um, yeah, let's see, oh wait. No, we can't buy him. We can buy two bombs. Oh well, I think I'll do my channel one day. We unlock one more liquor collector, one more gold, one, one more barracks, one archer tower, twenty-five walls, an air new air defense, and two spring traps. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And boom. But our gold down to four thousand. And what can we do with four thousand gold? Oh, I'm going to upgrade the elixir collector. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm not wasting 9 gems to finish that. So, it's, oh, our video is only at 9 minutes, 30 seconds. So, let's just have some fun and really, at, not attack, these defense. So this one, he obviously was going for loot. Didn't quite make well, I don't think he made a profit, because giants are expensive, and he only got like 2,000 elixir. I think they cost 4,000 elixir, or 5, 500 elixir each at level 1. So, yeah. 
I think that was a good giant placement because he wanted to take out the mortar so that the mortar wouldn't really wreak havoc on his goblin. So that's a good placement for him there. He did get into the center and get some of that storage. That's where he got his most of his loot. But, so yeah. Ooh. Ugh. Camera shaking. The disadvantages of non screen recording. The defenses each are pecking away at that giant, and yeah, you can kill it. It's a nice trophy. So maybe he was expecting to at least one star us, probably not three star us, duh, because he didn't have any infantry. He only had units that specifically went for certain types of buildings. So let's review another defense that we want against. So, a wall breaker shot down. And we get a free 20 elixir from that gravestone. Another wall breaker, again, shot down. <laughs> That's why you should deploy them in pairs. Wow. <laughs> so, that's. He wasn't expecting for that to happen. That's probably why we won the battle in the first place. The giants were, were obviously just for distraction. And that wall breaker actually didn't fail. And some archers went for a pin. I don't think they take us out though. No, they don't. Oh. <laughs> wow. Two more archers. Two more barbarians. Goblins. Playing Castle Guy. Yep. Me. So. One minute thirty. I don't think he. He might have deployed more troops. I don't know. Probably doubt that he did at this point. Yeah, I guess. So. Yep. So what, what did, how did, why, uh, why did we win? Well, as I said before, poor wall breaker placement, you should always deploy them at least in pairs, so that if one gets shot down, one has a better chance to survive, instead of just deploying them one after the other, like, not necessarily in pairs. So, yeah. Um, he didn't do a great job of getting my loot either, so that was important. Let's review one that he, we lost. Just barely, actually. Right on the dot at 50%. Yeah, that's a So, he deploys pretty far away from my base. That's not something I approve of. I think you should always deploy right as close to the base as you can. So, Wizard Towers are best against goblins because they shoot fast, they shoot really fast, and, and mortars are pretty slow to fire, so, oh, we, st we still had a level 3 cannon at this time, we only had level 1 level 4 cannon. So, Archer Tower... Oh, our, yeah, our archer tower is taken out. Oops. 14% remaining. Yeah. So now we're almost at 15 minutes here. So, yeah. We're not done. So I won't be able to squeeze in an extra attack if I want to make this video um, feature length or how I want it to be. So, yeah. We got, some, we got a lot of things done here. We did an attack. We got a really good attack, actually. And we started upgrading our town hall, we got labs, and everything good like that. So, 
thank you for watching this other, this, another episode of Chem Drummer 1's Clash of Clans Let's Play.